Horses from all over the world are arriving in San Diego ahead of the Breeders' Cup next week. It is the first time the international horse race will be held in Del Mar. And our 10 News reporter Matt Boone takes us inside one of the planes transporting those horses from Kentucky. It's affectionately known as Air Horse One. A Boeing 727 modified to carry up to 21 horses. They do pretty well. Our pilots do a good job of making wider turns, slower uh, ascents and descents and slower level off. Mike Payne transports horses for a living. He says they work hard to make it as easy on the horses as possible. If you float them, they'll, they'll start swimming, trying to find the floor. If you give them too many positive Gs, their feet can slip out from under them. There were no such problems. The plane touched down at Lindbergh Field and the horses were led down a ramp directly into a trailer to take them to Del Mar. Well, that's a huge deal. Craig Fravel is the president and CEO of the Breeders' Cup. If he looks familiar, it's because he worked at Del Mar for 20 years before taking his current gig. I mean, the fact that there's a built-in audience here that understands our business and is really great fans of horse racing uh, makes gives us a real head start. Still, it's the first time this event, which includes $28 million in purse money, has ever been held here. There are a lot of people who are going to be coming to Del Mar for the first time. We've got a lot of owners who spend their summers in Europe or Saratoga, and so uh, early November in Del Mar is going to be a new experience for them. A make or break moment, not just for the horses, but Del Mar's reputation. Nothing's ever given in this business. Uh, anybody can win and anybody can lose. At Lindbergh Field, Matt Boone, 10 News. First class. All right, race positions will be drawn on Monday. The races will take place next Friday and Saturday. It will